All right, so uh, this is going to be a, a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well Gemini Rising, a weekly general tarot reading February 17th to uh, February 23rd, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out uh, the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can uh, purchase such a, a general reading. So with that being said, moving into the uh, general tarot reading for the week uh, for you, Gemini. And the first card that we do have for you guys is going to be the Five of Cups which represents the uh, general topic and the theme of the week for you, followed by the next one, which represents uh, the um, energies which are supporting and feeding of the topic here. That will be um, the page of wands. The third one that we do have, it refers to the challenges that you will have to overcome. And we do have the 10 swords into that position. The fourth one is stands as the... Um, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week here that will be the four of wands followed by the fifth card of the week for you it is how people are going to see you what kind of impression you're going to leave into people we have the knight of swords and the last card here which stands as the guidance the tarot is offering to you uh, gemini that is to be the ten of pentacles Okay, so uh, this week, uh, by looking at the cards here, is going to be simultaneously um, a bit difficult for you to go through because there are some a tough calls that needs to be made. Okay, some really, how can I say it, a um, an actions or a decisions where you just cannot delay any longer to um, to perform. And after when this is done, then you are to embark on a, um, how can I say it more? It's, uh, it's exhilarating, but let's say more productive and growing phase of your life. So let's, uh, let's have a look at the first two cards here, guys. Just one second to move the things a little bit around in my desk. In my desk. So first two cards. Now we do have the energies of the Page of Wands. And when the Page of Wands appears as an energy, these energies are pushing one to, to stand its ground. But in a sense, not exactly on to, how can I say it, defend your position, but to stand your ground in a sense of what you want for yourself in the future. And that is going to have a, a big outlook into your career and into your relationship for throughout the week. Why? Well, because those who are not willing to follow you or to kind of like share your ideas or, or your expectations, say your love, if we're talking about relationship or, uh, you know, your uh, stray for a career development, those who does not share that, well, they are welcome to leave. Okay, uh, and that is going to be what the energies are doing to you. You will start you will become more and more intolerant to the shenanigans of those around you. You will become more and more intolerant, especially to those who are telling you you cannot do it. Okay, and more and more intolerant to people who are smothering you down, people who are stifling your progress moving forward, especially if it comes to these kind of like, um, I would say it that way, and an ideas that others are seeing a bit immature, a bit childish, okay? And it's kind of like a um, ideas, um, Cinderella-like, you know, the Cinderella, the poor the Cinderella, the poor girl, the poor girl that falls in love in a, uh, with a prince, and, you know, everybody tells her that she's not worthy. But at the end of the day, it turns out that she is the only one worthy. OK, so this is what we're talking about here, that you are to unfold your enthusiasm moving forward. And whoever isn't there to support it, they are welcome to basically leave. And that leads us to the situation here, which is the five of uh, cups in that particular case. So the formation here, it is a uh, active enemies. 
and uh, passive enemies, excuse me. And uh, pretty much with these energies, that card points that you are to start denying failures, personal failures though, not cumulative failures. You can accept a failure in relationship, but you cannot accept a, a failure into being miserable in a sense of the if your relationship face failure throughout this week, that is not going to stop you to search for love elsewhere. And same thing goes into um, for career as well. So uh, the situation here itself points that your determination is going to be a much stronger than allowing disappointments or like said failures losses as well to bring you down and to swipe you off your path but instead that determination will help you move further down the path that you have consciously chosen and that is in the grand scheme of things though to be happy to be successful uh you know to be um to be lucrative how whom with and uh where well, that depends entirely on the circumstances of the situation and it doesn't look that you're going to mind either way around. Like said, you know, if this person doesn't want to share his life with you, well, they're welcome to leave because someone else will. Um, if that job does not appreciate you enough as a valuable asset, well, you that job can very well, you know, uh, screw itself around because other place is going to appreciate you as a, a valuable asset. So it's like, this week it is the week where you are gonna you're kind of going to overcome yourself and uh, overcoming those kind of aspects of your life that are making you feel bad for one or another thing that are making you feel guilty as well and surprise surprisingly you will start seeing more and more sense into the life that you are leading okay that this life is going to lead you into a, a place that you are that you definitely belong there so the next one that we do have for you gemini it will be the ten swords and we're coming to the rough part of the reading so how you can do all that well by making the tough calls and the rough decisions simply because the ten of swords here points that you are on the brink of ending of one era and starting a new one this is what the ten of swords is all about and when it comes to that point some aspects of the old era needs to be cut swiftly even if it hurts and for that reason the challenge for you is to be exactly that, to make the irrevocable decisions here, for example, to let go of certain partner or from certain people in your life or to just abandon certain situations, to do the rough actions, the very irreversible actions here uh, throughout this throughout this particular week that is going to clear out a room so you at the new opportunities or the new circumstances for growth can actually take place or can replace them and you can start you know taking advantage of those a new um your opportunities so uh, the, the ten of swords can be seen more like a uh, doing what you have to do in a very straightforward manner instead of trying to be polite and touching things with a silk gloves uh, just to give you an example here, uh, say that you throughout this week, you kind of like identify that your relationship it is what is bringing you down. And the Ten of Swords in that case, it does represent the uh, challenge to face your partner and to simply say to them, you ain't worth it. Okay, I don't, for example, want to be with you anymore and I want to split right now and this very moment. Because with the Ten of Swords, there is no easy nor painless way to deliver the, inf the information that you want or to make the actions that you, are, uh, that you are anticipating. And that exactly is going to be the challenge. Now with the Ten of Swords as well, some of the pain will reflect you, okay? So probably you will have to, with this card, end things that you would like not to end, but you alone are going to understand that, that is necessary for you to proceed forward growing for example you love your job but there is no more 
um, room for growth in that job and sadly you have to leave it so you can find another place that will allow you to grow in there that is just an, an example and so the gifts and blessings it is what we are coming into that is to be the four of wands so as a gift this card points that while you are finalizing the very um say you know final moves or final actions into the very last moments of the era that you are finding yourself at career wise or relationship wise by the way the ten of uh, swords that now time i'm uh, thinking of is also very um how can i say it um common as an ultimatums okay so for example you know yeah, that, that, that part or that state of the relationship you are in does not suit you anymore and you confront your partner and say look we are either gonna get married or we part ways okay that is the tough call so it's like an ultimatum there is no going back after that all right that is the irreversible action that you are to do here in that particular case so with the four of wands here um what was i about to say it is that every single aspect in details have been carefully managed by you that is and as a gift and blessing in regards to that at the end of the day after that long slog okay after this um hard work that you have put up until this moment in regards to your career life in regards to your love life as well is going to be rewarded that is to be your gift and blessing one way or um or another because the four of wands is all about uh you know celebrating the good fortune that is coming around but it is also a about finalizing a cycle of growth and that will be your gift that you this week are going to finalize a cycle of growth and unfortunately not everything that it is in this cycle can follow you into the next one where you are going to grow even more than that okay and therefore you have to simply do the uh, do the heavy lifting here there is no other way to to, to say it uh next one it is how people are gonna take you what kind of impression you're gonna leave into the people around and that will be uh, the impression of the knight of swords so first of all people are gonna uh, see how smart you are and how um how, how big intellectual capacity you do have to resolve problems to solve your own personal dramas for example okay and it's simply that you, they are seeing you as a person who does have a plans person who does have a, a contingency plans okay and therefore for example your uh your boss is not going to be able to press you anymore because they will see that you do have other option available you know you do have a contingency plan and also by the way people with this card are going to see how much you value yourself because the knight of swords always makes actions and decisions based on what kind of emotions he does have or in this case you have and therefore if you have to do something it is always for your greater good okay or for your well-being moving forward into the future even if at that point it isn't something that you would like to do and therefore people are going to see you very unyielding and very determined to do what it takes in order to make yourself happy and the last card that we do have for you gemini is going to be the ten of pentacles as a guidance this card tells us a couple of things uh the first one it is the most important one it is that this week it is a, a very it's a turning point in your life for what it seems a turning point where you are going out of dependency like we said at the start this is where your personal strength is gonna shine okay and you are to deny failure you are to deny disappointments as well your personal ones and if people does not want to follow you into your direction of where you are to find yourself happy they're welcome to leave and that is going out of dependency from other people and with the ten of pentacles as a guidance you should not mourn if someone does not want to follow you where you are directing yourself but there are other people who would want to follow you people that you have turned your back on or people that have turned their back on you for one or another reason but now seeing you taking on the right path in your life they would like 
to be a part of your life once again. And as a guidance here, the Ten of Pentacles tells you that, you know, maybe this time around they're trustworthy. And for that reason, you should put them under a test to see how determined they are to be your follower, your follower, your companion, your lover, okay, or your business partner. So that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly general tarot reading, February 17th to February 23rd, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, uh, if you are uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase some. And um, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.